So when we started, there were not a lot of young people playing jazz. And in terms of racial and gender diversity, it was pretty poor, to be honest. So now, a generation on, we're seeing a much more exciting, more vibrant, more eclectic and more inclusive jazz scene. And I do believe that that is very much in part due to, to our as warriors and all the work that we've put in to get more young people into playing the music. So the Tomorrow's Warriors Development Programme at the Southbank Centre is a learning and training programme that enables young people aged 11 to 25 to follow a pathway towards a career in music. So at the moment we have quite serious funding gap for that programme. We do need to look at other sources of funding to make sure that we can continue the work that we're doing at the Southbank Centre. So we've launched a campaign to raise £100,000. We're reaching out to family, friends, the jazz loving public and just the music loving public and anyone who's interested in music education and the right of, of young people to have a creative education to help us. The cuts to arts funding in schools means that a lot of young people aren't getting the opportunity to learn music. So who's there to inspire a young person to take up a musical instrument and to stay with it and pursue it as a career? If Tomorrow's Warriors can't continue its programme, a lot of young people will lose the opportunity to develop their musical talent and that will have a longer term impact on the music industry because if they can't develop their skills and get to the conservatoires, get through to the music industry and get through to the stage, then the future of jazz really is at stake. So please donate to the I Am Warrior Appeal.